In the following video, we will describe how to immobilize a patient with Pinel restraints. To start with, locate the iliac crest and lower edge of the rib cage. Place the two magnetic pins under the black protective lining of the abdominal belt. It is important to leave one eyelet free between the two magnetic pins. Fasten the abdominal belt around the patient. However, do not close the magnetic pins yet. Fasten the beaver tail to the magnetic pins of the abdominal belt while leaving the beaver tail loose. Close the magnetic pins and verify if they are locked. Check that the belt is around the abdomen. Then, adjust the belt's tightness to allow space for one hand on expiration. In this section, we will review the immobilization of the upper limbs. Make sure to remove all personal items from the patient's wrists and fingers. Adjust the Velcro around the patient's wrists without leaving any slack. Check that it fits well in the following way. The tip of a finger can slide under the strap on the wrist side, and one finger should be able to slide under the strap on the elbow side. Pass the strap through both metal loops on each side of the Velcro. Close with a magnetic pin and verify that the magnetic pin is locked. In this section, we will review the immobilization of the lower limb. To immobilize the first leg, use the restraint number one, which has the long tail secured to the bed frame and the short tail free. Adjust the Velcro around the patient's lower leg without leaving any slack. Check that it fits well in the following way. The tip of a finger can slide under the strap on the ankle side, and one finger should be able to slide under the strap on the knee side. Pass the strap through both metal loops on each side of the Velcro and close with a magnetic pin. To immobilize the second leg, use a restraint number two, which has the short tail secured to the bed frame and the long tail free. Adjust the Velcro around the patient's lower leg without leaving any slack. Check that it fits well in the following way. The tip of a finger can slide under the strap on the ankle side and one finger should be able to slide under the strap on the knee side. Start by passing the long strap through the metal loop inside of leg number one, which is already fastened. Then, pass the long strap through the metal loop on the inside of leg number two. Make sure to secure the strap in between the legs with a magnetic pin. Pass the strap through the metal loop on the outside of leg number two and secure with a magnetic pin. Verify that the magnetic pins are locked. Your patient is now immobilized with Pinel restraints. For monitoring, please refer to the surveillance sheet available on your unit. 